Good day in advance. Happy Thursday. Good morning, boys and girls. Okay, so I had so many cool projects come in from the break, but I still have some left over from before the break. So we're going to start with a project uh, on Switzerland by Ibrahim Alvi. And so places to fly to, uh, Zurich and Geneva, uh, 10 largest cities, the flag. Now this flag uh, is red with a white cross in the middle. Uh, let's see. The uh, Swiss Alps, well, they're mostly in Switzerland. Let's see. Uh, and it's actually a very expensive place to live. Now, Switzerland on the map, hmm, it's right here. It's that little green dot. I need a bigger globe, but it's, uh, but it's a pretty expensive place to live. Now, speaking of places, that, and that's in the north. So, again, lots of cold weather there. Uh, now, this is on it, Antarctica. Uh, and this is by... Janine. So it's a little book made out of some scrap paper. And so um, it's all about fun facts about Antarctica, for example, the volcanoes, the, uh, the wildlife, which would be some seals, um, whales, um, and penguins. Uh, because it's the coldest place on earth, and it's basically a desert, honestly. It's a, just a vast um, uh, desert. Uh, and so uh, another super cold place, and speaking of cold places, um, Kingston and Aaron did a project on Norse mythology. So we've heard a lot about Greek mythology, but what about other mythology? Well, the Norse or the Norsemen or uh, people, again, um, from the Scandinavian region, which is more north than Switzerland, so you're up in here, had their own myths. So they uh, told stories of Thor and Odin and Loki, and they had all sorts of interesting myths just like the Greeks did. And so Aaron and Kingston did a wonderful project with some wonderful illustrations to talk about Norse mythology. And that's not something we learn about. All right. And then finally, we have some similes by Alani and Emma. She is pretty as a daisy. She's smart as a calculator. I am so hungry. I could eat a horse. I can run fast like a cheetah. Yep, those are all comparisons using like or as. Now, moving on to our Wordle and Mystery number. Class 214, figured it out. And uh, here's your clue today. Me. So I'll tell you the story. I have a cut on my face. and I opened the car door into my face and I got a cut. Yeah, it's just going a little too fast. But we know that this is a U. It's an adjective. And we know that this is the most common vowel. We know that this is another vowel. It happens to be an A. So the clue is me, but it's also for our third, fourth, and fifth graders who are going to be taking the New York State Assessment. Mm -hmm. Now, moving on to our mystery number, we know it's two digits. We know that it's an odd number, and we know that uh, one of the uh, numbers is a homonym. Hmm. The homonym is the odd number. The homonym is the odd number. And both numbers are odd. Okay, now the clue there is May. All right, and now it's time for a mighty kind moment of the day. Let's get our drum roll. Da, da, da. So the mighty kind moment of the day is a shout out to all of the PTA workers at our book fair. Make sure you thank them for being so kind to giving up all of their time to come here for, not for our book fair, for our boutique and spring sale. All right. Why? Because you're a mighty mind. Not only that, a mighty kind, mighty mind, and everyday boys and girls, it's a great day to get smart and be kind to both each other and the earth. Let's have a wonderful day.